All right, guys, it's time for another video tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to put the 16,000 limiter from the M1000RR onto the S1000RR that has the 15K limiter. Let's get started. Keep in mind, guys, the 16,000K limiter doesn't mean your bike will actually go to 16,000 RPM. The M1000RR and the S1000RR both have the same exact RPM limiter. We're just changing the look of the screen to make it more like the M1000RR. Now, just like our other videos, which I'll put on the top right of the screen here, we'll need the Beamer Utility Tool. Connect it just like we did in the other videos, and we'll jump right into this. All right, and just like always, we'll pull up the Beamer Utility app, make sure the green light is on, which means you are keyed on on the bike. And I explained this all in that first video, which you should go and watch now. Of course, make sure your settings are all good, and then click Connect. You should see the VIN instantly pop up, which it did right there. There, now the first thing we're gonna do here from all these options we're gonna go ahead and go to combi first thing. That's what we're gonna be working with here is the combi. And then I'm gonna go ahead in here and type in taco. We're doing this through the screen of another phone, so my typing may not be great. No, it's not taco, taco. There we go, so taco. So let me see if I can get this thing to focus correctly there. Right there, so taco, HM, uh, HMI taco, click. And the first thing you wanna do here is go to wort OA, right there, done. Now after work OA, we're gonna go down here. Again, I'm doing this in another phone, so it's a little bit rough on me. <laughs> we're gonna go to red area RPM three. And we're gonna go ahead and change this to 8,000. Done. And then we're gonna go to the same one, but four. Go to wort. Then we're gonna go to the same one again, but five. Wort. Right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and go down to the temp, which is gonna be temp two right here, the red area temp two. And we're gonna click this at 20 degrees Celsius. And then the temp three, and we're gonna click that at 30 degrees Celsius. Done, done. And then we're gonna go down here to the GSA RPM. We're gonna hit three. This is gonna be 8,000 again. Done. And we're gonna go to number four, the same thing. Hit wort done and then we're gonna to go to five of the same thing hit wort and then done now everything should be done here and let's go ahead and go ahead and click code coding right now clearing dash reset let's see what popped up here and now we have a 16,000 K limiter now a lot of people that do this mod the 16,000 K limiter do it wrong and they don't do all the steps that I just did and that red area will be across the entire tack and the sports screens will be all messed up and everything. Let's see the sports screens. Go here. Go ahead and go to the sports screens. Right there, that's where it should be. The whole thing's not red itself. It means we're, we're doing good. <laughs> we did everything right. So that's how you properly do this. And again, as always, back everything up before you do this. So in case you click something wrong, you can always go back to your stock configuration. But that's finished. That's the only time you have to do that. And updates in the dealer won't affect this. Everything's good to go. And of course, we now have the daytime ring lights here. We have the M animation screen. And also, here's another little treat here. I'm gonna show you guys in the next video. Check this out. I have five heated grips. There's only, only three on this. So I can go from one to six now. So that's the next video I'm gonna show you guys. See you in the next one.